and gentlemen, we're going to keep this show rolling. Your next comic, this dude's one of my favorite newcomers to the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Austin Hanna! Hey, McCormick's, what's up, everybody? Oh, cool, that was really enthusiastic. Uh, you got any uh, Jews here? Any Jews? All right, sounded like a Jew noise back there. Uh, <laughs> I got a question about Jews. Well, at least uh, it was answered for me recently. I was always under the impression that uh, hot, like kosher hot dogs were blessed by a rabbi, and like I guess that's wrong. Somebody told me that was wrong, but I like to believe it's true because I want to think of just like a really dedicated Jew who's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the, the whole process. I'm gonna go to Jew school. I'm gonna graduate, and then when I get there, and they're like, what's, what's your assignment? The guy's just like, all right, you're on hot dogs. Like that's. That's how you're gonna serve God. Like, that would be like, that's that's the best way that you could possibly celebrate your religion is blessing hot dogs. Uh, so there's comes a time in every man's life when you ask yourself, what would I say to Kid Rock? <laughs> and I gotta tell you, it happened to me. I know what I would say. I said, hey Kid, I really liked you in Joke Dirt. <laughs> And he said, this is true words that came out of Kid Rock's mouth. He said, yeah, that's a good movie to watch on DVD. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've been watching it on Laserdisc. That's why I thought it was a piece of shit. <laughs> like, why does he go by Kid? He looks like a fucking 100-year-old turtle that's like lost its shell. Like, it's just like, <laughs> it doesn't look like a human being. So I guess he could go by Kid or Old Man or whatever he wants. Um, so... I read a story about a guy who uh, sent a bomb to a post office in Detroit, and like, but the post office like didn't open it. It was just like under a desk for like weeks. Nobody knew that it was there. There's just a bomb sitting in the post office. And like, how confusing is that for the bomber? Because like he sent a, like he it, the the amount of steps he must go through to accept that you are sending a bomb to somebody, and then you just gotta wait. And then like a couple days go by, and you're like, all right, any minute, this bomb's going off. And then like a week goes by, and you're like, did I send a bomb to them? Like, did I do that? And then like another week goes by, you're making another bomb, you're like opening up the post office doors, like you guys still here? And it turns out, yeah, they are. I just like, I want to imagine that he was protesting the awful service of the post office by sending them a bomb, and it came back to bite him in the end, like you just like, the bomb's just still there. All right, forget that shit I just said about a bomb. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be bad too. Forget this after I say it. I met a... It's, it's coming up on a, the anniversary of my most awkward homeless encounter ever. Uh, it was right around this time. I, I walked up, I saw a homeless guy on the side of the road next to 7-Eleven. Come in. Welcome. Uh, so I saw a homeless guy on the side of the road, and he pulled me in. He said, hey, are you looking forward to the holidays this year? And what can you say to that other than yeah? Like, there's no, like, no. Like, would you just sound like a fucking douchebag? So it was like, yeah, I am. Are you? And he goes, no, I'm fucking homeless. <laughs> And I was immediately like, well, no wonder. That's not how you make friends, buddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I like movies. You guys like movies, right? Everybody likes movies. I was talking, yeah, you don't have to say yeah. I know you like movies, you're a human being. Uh, I love movies. I was talking to my friend, my friend goes, the fifth element is boring. Can you believe that? And I was like, what? And he goes, the fifth element is boron. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's right. <laughs> that guy didn't understand the premise of the joke, that's why he said that. <laughs> oh, God, that's stupid. All right, um, so uh, we got anybody here that smokes weed? I know we already had that question, so I'll assume yes. Whoa, boy, what an enthusiastic clap for weed. All right, uh, I love weed because it's taught me everything I know about finances and timing. Like, every part of my life that is scheduled or regimented has come from my use of marijuana. And I say this because, like, I'm... Hello, get ready to hear about my weed experience. <laughs> uh, I love smoking weed, and, but I'm also really poor. So when I run out of weed, I can't just go buy more weed. I have to look for weed that I've lost over the course of, like, a week. So I'll, like, go into, like, cool dark corners of, like, my table and scrape it out into, like, a little pile, and then I'll smoke it, knowing full well that it is not weed. Like, I'm just, it's just, like, sticks and twigs and, like, dirt and stuff. And I'm just like, why not? Because, really, that's, like, my theory is, like, why not? If I was the first guy that ever smoked weed, I would smoke 
everything else in the world. Because if that worked, why not like ketchup or something? Like why not like, there's so many options, like dirt or whatever, I mean, who knows? <laughs> I like my lackluster ending to that. Um, so, you guys like McDonald's? This is my last trip. You guys like McDonald's? Anybody love McDonald's? You have to. I'm asking the most generic questions. Just say yes. Do you like movies? McDonald's? Are you American? Yes! Yes! You love McDonald's! Alright, I love McDonald's too. I love McDonald's, but every time I get my bag at McDonald's, it looks like somebody threw like a grenade inside. Like, have you, like, when you get your bag from McDonald's, it's like a massacre has happened inside the bag. Like, there's just one dude in the McDonald's line chain of events whose job it is is to take my fries and just turn them completely upside down. Like, that's just like, step one, turn fries upside down. Step two is a guy who's just like, fucking lettuce, just throwing lettuce on everything. There's a guy just like emptying a big bag of lettuce into a fan that's just blowing all over everything. And then they throw it in a bag and they hand it to you like you're a fucking idiot. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about McDonald's. Sorry, I just lost my mind there. All right, uh, thanks, my name's Austin. Austin Hanna, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear it. Oh God, your next comic. You see, like you can see this guy at least once a month at the Richmond Funny Bone. Uh, this guy's a big ball of energy. I love this dude, ladies and gentlemen. Israel. Well, come on, what's going on? Give it up for my man JJ Jesse Jolly for keeping this room going, man. Keep it on. Where's Adrian at? Where's Adrian at? I just thought of something to add to her joke. Like that joke about the nanny strip. Like instead of like mine come, like mine cunt. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just came to me when I thought I was sitting there. You know, just, like, anyway. Man, this girl coming up this morning, man. Asked me to eat a pussy this morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the bullshit. <laughs> It's too early to eat pussy at 6 o'clock in the morning, shit. 9 o'clock I have to have breakfast and eggs and bacon and shit, that's a better time, shit. But not 6 o'clock in the morning. You know, that's too early for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is bad. And this, you know, this set's gonna get real dirty, so just bear with me, I'm sorry. But this is the shit that happened to me this morning, so I gotta go with it. She gonna ask me, you know what I'm saying, you know, come on in so I can, so you can sit, I can sit in your face and shit. I'm like, damn, last time you sat in my face, you know what I'm saying, I was doing my thing. And she got mad, right, she was giving me head too, 6 9 right, 6 9 and shit. She was giving me head and shit too, but you know what I'm saying? She didn't want to swallow. And that shit pissed me off, cause I'm like, shit, you didn't want to swallow, but I'm, you got your shit all up in my shit. My, my shit is marinating in your shit, and you don't want to swallow my shit? Hell no. If I, you go swallow my juice, you, you need to swallow my juice and say, fuck it. I'm, I'm just tired of that shit. That just, you know, I'm sorry. I just had to get dirty real quick. I'm sorry. Jesus, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm gonna work on, you know, I'm sorry. Jesus, I'm sorry. Anyway, anyway <clears throat> you know, to make matters worse, I wore my Obama t-shirt to work after he won. No, this is the West End, uh, Henrico, so you know, this all Republicans and that motherfucker, so they did not like that shit. That was some real fucked up shit. They was thinking me, they're like, oh, hey, how you doing? Dump my trash, nigga, dump my trash, dump my trash. Shit, I know you a janitor, but shit, dump my trash anyway, shit. But, uh, but yeah, um, no punchline in that joke, I just had to get that out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was thinking, like, my daughter is having a lot of, you know, problems wiping herself, and it's kind of bothering me, because she's three years old, intelligent, because she's my child, so she's smart. She's, she's, she's me, with, with, you know, with, with cornrows and a cute face. But she has a problem wiping herself, and ladies, you know when you wipe yourself, you go from the front to the back and let it go. But her problem is she keeps bringing this shit up like this and keep wiping like this. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is your mom teaching you? Medicaid is not kicking in. Neither is child support. Shit. <laughs> child support, you can buy a damn book to teach you how to wipe your that stuff off. I mean, that's pissing me off. So, you know, and the thing about it was she wants to be a ballerina. So I'm like, baby, you can't be a ballerina and have a yeast infection at the same time. We gotta work on that shit. I'm sorry. You know, if you don't laugh at that joke, I don't give a fuck because that's funny to me. Shit. <laughs> I was there when she was wiping herself and it wasn't looking good. It really wasn't looking good at all. But, uh,. I think the one thing I have learned over this past year, never borrow money from a woman that you sleep with. That's just some bullshit right there. Oh um, boy, I did that shit a couple times. You know, she paid for my car note, you know what I'm saying? And you don't think about this shit until afterwards and shit. Like, you don't think like what after you after she's finished sucking your dick that you're gonna ask her for a loan for your car. That's some bullshit, right? Like, <laughs> I'm about to bust in your mouth, oh, can I get $300 for my car? Shit, <laughs> man, you know, sorry. <laughs> this, this, this is real shit. I'm not talking no jokes. This is some real life shit right here. Fuck it. You know, but uh, 
I was thinking too, you know, and I don't like to do a lot of political jokes because I really don't give a fuck. Because all politicians are. I mean, for all politicians are, man, are really salesmen and trying to sell you on some shit that they're, they're really not going to do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's just some bullshit. But I was thinking, like, a lot of, a lot of Republicans that voted for Romney, you know, a lot of y'all probably used the N word, like Ray said. <laughs> On election day, when you didn't win, didn't win. I mean, just, just be real with it. You use the N word a whole lot of times. It's like shit. The nigga, Ugh! you know. So my thing is this: just replace the N word with Obama. Just, it, just try it. See what, see, see how you feel. And then when you go behind closed doors, then use the N word when you spend around your friends and family and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just when you out in public, just, just you know, go in Walmart. Mm hmm. Uh -huh, look at those Obamas over there. <laughs> sorry, Obamas. I tell you, this sorry, Obamas ain't worth shit. Just look at that. Look at that. Got fifth of the month. They got the basket all piled up with, with food and, 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 and pasteurized and unpasteurized. No fucking vegetables in that bitch. That's how Obamas do all the damn time. Eat the bullshit all the damn time. Look at that. Look at that. All them food spam motherfuckers. Shit. Look at that. Obama bitches. But anyway, that's my, my time. My name is Israel. God bless. <laughs> Justin Jock, where you at, dog? Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Velez! Hey, that's racist. You can't say that. Uh, well, because of illustrious introductions with, uh, with my book as a shameless prop, uh, Book sales haven't been doing so well, so I've been thinking instead of writing uh, an alphabet of everything I hate, I was gonna write children's books. Somebody answer the phone. <laughs> the what? Where's Morpheus? <laughs> Thank God, they're like three people got a Matrix joke. That's awesome. Uh, Keanu would be proud. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that I would actually uh, start trying to write children's books. And uh, I wrote a book called The Alphabet of Everything I Hate. So my children's books titles are kind of a work in progress. <laughs> like, uh, like I've got why, <laughs> why Mom Has to Suck Dick and Why Reagan's a Bad President. <laughs> um, uh, why Daddy Had to Lose a Leg Because the President is No Pussy. That hit close to home. <laughs> I, uh, last one, uh, uh, protecting freedom and why that man at the airport has to touch you inappropriately. <laughs> what does it mean when Peter comes up and just fails? What does it mean when Peter comes up and fails? <laughs> that sounds like some internet porn shit. Of which I'm a complete fan of. Don't let me sit here and act like I'm judging him for that. Look, sometimes you get an emergency call for some porn shit and you gotta take it. I lo look, I love internet porn, and I love nothing more than the comments underneath the videos. Like, you know, when, you, when you're cleaning up, you got something to read. And, uh, and they're so uncreative that it's always just like, yeah, I'd fuck her. Well, no shit, you're jerking off to it. I get it. <laughs> So I started, I started posting my high score. Like I started posting my initials, J-A-V, and then like seven minutes, 32 seconds. <laughs> and it's always great because the next comment underneath is like seven minutes, 32 seconds. The, minutes, the video's only like three and a half minutes long. What was he doing for the rest of the time? <laughs> and the answer is enjoying myself. Internet porn not hitting hard? You guys don't drink off the internet porn? Nobody, nobody has any fucking clue what I'm talking about right now. Uh, I don't get a lot of uh, a human interaction because I'm busy writing shit or jerking off to internet porn. Like the most it, human interaction that I get on a daily basis is paying for cash at the pump. And I think it still counts even though it's between two inches of bulletproof glass. I count. I'm here, well, okay, thankfully I'm here to tell you people the difference between Bing and Google. I don't interact with people enough, so I can bring you the internet right here. Here's the difference between Bing and Google. If you type in Tijuana Donkey Show and Bing, and it's going to give you the, the, 
directions to get to the Tijuana Doggy Show. It's going to give you plane tickets to get to Tijuana. It's going to give you hotel reservations to get to Tijuana. It's going to give you the fucking horoscope of the donkey the girl is blowing. <laughs> Google will just give you a video of a girl fucking a horse, which is what you wanted in the first place. <laughs> uh, I miss the election, I really do. It was a gold mine for comedy. And I truly, what I miss the most is, uh, are Republicans asking what the Founding Fathers would say if they were here today? Like, that's a common theme in politics that I don't think gets addressed enough. Like, here's what the Founding Fathers would say if they were here today. Uh, where would be the black wenches at? <laughs> or probably, what the fuck is a cell phone? They would probably ask that first. And then try to find the black wenches. Uh, and I can say that because I'm Colombian. I can say black. I don't have to say African American. And I know, I know I look a little Jewish. And I try to pass for that when the moment is appropriate, but... <laughs> and I, it's probably because, like, this nose, like, with this nose, it probably looks like if I ran into a wall full speed with an erection, I would break my nose first, and that's, like, what kind of gives me the chewy appearance. But I'm actually Colombian. And I'm really Colombian. Like, well, actually, kind of a shitty Colombian. I'm actually Colombian, but, uh... Every time I do a rail of blow, I feel like Michael J. Fox and Muhammad Ali are fighting over a spider graph, like all over me. I'm gonna end on that. <laughs> Jason Velez, everybody! Yeah! All right, we're gonna keep this show going. Your next comic, this guy's one of my favorites. You guys are in for a real treat, and you'll see why. I'm not even gonna hype this guy up. He's just one of my personal favorites. Give it up for the very funny, the very, very cuddly, David Marie Garland! <laughs> <laughs> 